Hi, I'm Dennis from Gizmo Angling. I'm here today uh, to talk about the advantages of using lassos in your fishing. I think one of the most important things in fishing is, is confidence. Um, knowing that your, your bait's still on is one of the key things. Um, particularly in the colder months when you, know, you might be chucking out on the bomb line, you might be leaving it 20, 30, 40 minutes. Um, I think, you know, with a lasso, your bait's going to stay on. As that pellet is starting to break down, it's starting to expand, quite often with bands, it'll just push the band off. With a lasso, it's just getting tighter and tighter onto the pellet. So having the confidence, um, knowing that 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 bait is still on. I think that's a, that's a great advantage. It's when you sat there and you know, you're, you're not sure, is that bait still on? Um, your confidence is gone already, you know? You sat there and, and you're just not sure and you reel in and then there's no bait on and then, you know, how long do you leave it in? I think with, with lassos, you know that bait's on. And the longer it's in, the tighter it's gonna get on that, that pellet and it's just not gonna come off. I think the other advantage with lassos is presentation. Um, everybody's good nowadays. Um, presentation is key. I think to get them small edges, um, you put a band on. I like to use, you, you know, when I have to use a band, I like to use a really small band. But you know, over time, that they end up splitting or they end up coming off. But with with a lasso, you don't have that problem. And what you have is perfect presentation because you just can't see it. You've just got that pellet there, especially if you're using fluorocarbons. You only have to put a piece of pure fluorocarbon in a, in a glass of water and it virtually disappears. So having that around your pellet rather than, you know, a big thick band, it's got to give you an advantage. I think where the lasso really comes into its own in summer months is speed fishing when you're fishing venues high stocking level venues that have got lots of small f1s lots of stockies and you're needing to catch fast um, so the amount of time you want in the water as, as much as possible um, you know sometimes you could be catching 300 400 fish in a five hour match so you don't want to be changing your pellet every time and i think it's okay, you can oil your pellets and, and they can last longer. But when you oil the pellets and then you use that in conjunction with a band, it's more likely to slip off, I know in my experience. Oh, there you go. Just woke up. You see how soft my rod is? I'm using one of these new Browning Sphere rods and they're just nice and soft. I'm fishing 014 today. I just want perfect presentation and with the lasso. It gives me that nice light line, nice soft rod and you can land big fish pretty quick, you know? You don't have to you see a lot of these reports fishing 020, um, you know, size 12 hooks. I mean, I'm fishing a size 16 hook on a lasso with an 8mm pellet, 014 streamline. Uh, dead simple, loop to loop, a couple of float stops. Simple fishing, really. And you can get fish like that really, really quick. I think the key is a nice soft rod. Balance tackle, I think that's the, that's the word all the pros use. 
and that pallet's good for another one. There are some disadvantages um, to using lassos in your fishing. Now, tying them for one, um, you spend a lot of time, you tie them, people can tie, I can tie them by hand, and you tie them, uh, and then you've got to size, you've got to size the lasso right before you then use your knotless knot. Otherwise, if you don't, and you have like, you know, it's too big, when you then put your pellet on and you pull it tight, the hair's too long. So then you've got, you know, you kind of, any sort of advantages you've got in presentation are all lost because your hair, hair's too long or it's too short. I mean, I've often done it in the past where, you know, you do your lasso and it's too small and I'm struggling to get it on, on onto the lasso. Um, so what we've done at Gizmo Angling is we've developed a machine, a lasso maker, which makes the task of making lassos easy and fast. The other problem with lassos is if you lose your pellet or you, you, you take the pellet off, they, they will just pull through because it's just the nature of the lasso. So you might go through three, four, five, sometimes 10 in a match, depending, you know, depending on what type of fishing you're doing. Um, so you want the ability to be able to tie them quickly, easily, um, so that they're all exactly the same as well. And it's no good you know, having a load set up in your box and you're catching on the bomb like we're doing today. Um, you have a problem with it or your hook's gone blunt, you change your hook length and the hair's you know, four mil longer and then you're finding you're not getting, you know, hookups as much, or you're not getting as many bites, you're losing fish, uh, so then your confidence has gone again. Um, so having the confidence, knowing that they're all exactly the same. The lasso maker from Gizmo Anglin is developed so that everything is exactly the same um, every single time and it's just easy, fast, you can make lassos in preparation for tying your knotless knot. Um, I think the average time is about eight seconds. If you're one of those anglers that's avoided um, using lassos because of the fiddly nature of using them or, or, or tying them, then you need to watch this video. Um, we'll show you how you can Make your own lassos at home, in the comfort of your own home, dead quick, have loads ready prepared for, for your match. Okay, the things you're gonna need to tie the perfect lasso is the lasso maker, the lasso sizer, some line snips or scissors, and obviously your line. Right, when you take your lasso tie uh, out, out, out the box, uh, this is how it'll come. What you need to do, undo, just undo these two thumb wheels, put one out and one in, so it effectively creates almost like a Z, like this. Just nip them up, and that gives you the most stable platform. Okay, so let's get started. Spin the thumb wheel off here. Take your line off the clip first, it makes it easier then. You spool the line on. Thumb wheel on. Just nip it up, it's just to hold it in place, that's all. Peel an amount of line off. And then what you're doing is you're coming round here, the first post, underneath the second post, and round everything. Then you're pinching the two lines together, and you're coming over it twice. Put your thumb on the post, and then lift, pressing that button, lift the line trap. Snip that off, and then what you can do is you can pull all of that upwards. And then pull the line, angle downwards, 
and then press the line trap. This then tightens the knot and you've now got a lasso. This is where the sizing tool comes in. What the sizing tool does is if you're going to be fishing with six millimeter pellets or four millimeter or eight millimeter pellets you want to have the lasso the right size for those pellets. Um, last thing you want to do is tie a load of these up and then find that the pellet doesn't fit so, or find that when you tighten the lasso your hair is way too long. What this does is just a real quick simple way of sizing that. What we've done with this, it's got a pyramid so you've got 4.2 millimeter, 6.2, 8.2 and 10.2 and the reason we put it just slightly over the rounded number size is so that so that you've got a little bit of give there um, not all pellets are exactly the same um, so if you just place that on there so we'll do six millimeter for example place it on there pull it nice and tight what that does that ensures that that knot is tight because it's really important that that knot's tight if you don't tighten that and just hold it for a second to let that knot set and then what you do is you just with rotating movement just twist that and it comes off um, that's one of the key advantages of this if you try and size it with a pellet what you do is you size it up but the pellets are quite rough so you end up opening up the lasso um, to take it off again and then you've lost your size you kind of lost the reason for for sizing it with this it's lovely and smooth and because of the ergonomic shape you can actually just twist it and you're not having to actually open it up hardly at all to get it off snip the tag end I leave like five mil um, and then peel off the amount of line that you want and that's ready for time with the knotless knot.